This is Princess Cooch05, and you are now watching Libro Incredible. He has amazing videos, so don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Good day, sir. Good morning to you, too, my nigga. <laughs> anyway, here go Tip. Thanks for pulling my car up. Let's get out of here real quick. Well, okay, is Libro Incredible, and I got so much Swizzay. You already know. Anyways, I'm coming from the hotel. You know what I'm saying? Stand in Utah. We got to go down to the game or whatever. Got to get up in my nice little whip. You already know how it is. Um, Coming up on a light. I'm going to end up having to check my tweets and shit because there's some new people who added me this season. These people ain't asked for this, but I appreciate the love and the support. And thanks for watching my videos. Uh, Shout out to the real Goku, a.k.a. Joe Ocean, for following me on Twitter. Becoming a new subscriber been active on my channel thanks a lot little homie shout out to mr wonderful aka go espn 0925 good looking on the uh subscribing and following me on twitter uh anytime you need help on your videos you know hit me up you know what i'm saying it's all good thanks for the love and shit like that uh shout out to diego Oh, I don't know how to say your last name, but Diego underscore 1424. Shout out to you. You know, thanks for subscribing me. Um, I'm glad you love my videos. Shit like that. The list goes on, brother. I hope you uh, stick around and stay tuned. Yeah, I know y'all peeped that. How the boy just going to bump my nice new car I just got. You know what I'm saying? I had to hop out with the burn on this nigga. Pull up gold Uzi out on him or something. Like, you don't Hit no black man car, boy. Don't expect nothing to happen, boy. Chill. Anyway, I had to skate the fuck out of there. Break out of there, man. I had to... Forgot that we got a game coming up, man. I'm in here lollygagging and shit like that. Giving everybody shout outs all on Twitter, all on my phone and shit. You know what I'm saying? Driving all slow in my new car. Like, nah, it don't work like that. We got to get freshened up. You know what I'm saying? Get that nice little cut. Get Go home. Get my gym bag. And then shoot straight to the arena. Well, I'm around the corner from my crib right now. Damn, man. I just bumped my shit, man. See, that's what happens when you run red lights when you ain't supposed to. I know it was a sign up there to say don't turn on red. But, hey, it is what it is. Uh -huh. So, anyway, as I pull up into the crib, let me go get my shit. And I'm going to catch y'all at the game, man. of the Jazz preparing for action. Fans, get on your feet! We are live. It's a Thursday night presentation here on 2K Sports. Kevin Arlen here with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. We'll also be hearing from our friend Dorsbert from the sideline. The Jazz make a quick stop here at home before heading back out on the road. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Rockets. That one was played down in Houston. Well, they hung in there for a long time in that game, just giving themselves a chance to win at the end. But when it mattered the most, they stumbled. Yeah, and those are the hardest losses to stomach, guys. I mean, when you play well throughout the game and then get derailed by a few missed opportunities down the stretch, that's painful. And courtesy of State Farm, the starting group for the Rockets. Santiago, he's in a three. Patterson plays down low with the Sheik. Jeremy Lin is out there with Harden. And for the Jams. At the forward spots, Gordon Hayward and Paul Millsap. Mo Williams out there with Nate Robinson. And it's Jefferson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now, here is Robinson. Outside Jefferson. Makes the lead pass. Hayward can hit. So the winning streak is still continuing. Sorry that I couldn't bring you guys every each and every game. But, like, each and every game would take mad work. <coughs> Excuse me. God damn it. Lately, I've been burping like in every video. But like I was saying, to record each and every game, that is like about 50 minute videos. I have to render every day, edit up every day. Think of new things to talk about so you guys don't be bored to entertain you guys. This is a lot of work. So I decided to bring what I'm going to do this season in my second season. I'm going to bring you guys a gameplay from each and every team so it's not going to be just lakers or or eat just key games or just my rivalries it's going to be all 32 teams so that's 32 videos 
and then like uh, I'm going to record every game against the Thunder because we haven't I haven't beat the Thunder yet on this game so that's my challenge this season along with breaking the team winning streak record so a lot of things a lot of goals are on my mind right now um, I want to repeat get another ring um, do the Olympics even though the Olympics isn't in 2013 I I still pretty much think I'm gonna do it anyway because of the ideas that I have. I don't want them to go to waste, so I would just do it for just GP. So that'd be a, just a general purpose video. Um, a couple other key games I might record. So I end up might I want to get like maybe like 40 videos out of this season. So yeah, just stick around. So we on a 22 game win streak so far coming into this um we played the, the first time we played the jazz actually was in um houston i believe and they actually law i think i actually beat them by i think it was 88 to 87 so you know i came down to the, the final shot and i think either mo williams or nate robinson missed the three to win the game so we barely got out of there so coming into this game i was just thinking like yo these we gonna beat they ass. There's no way in the world we gonna get out of here with a one point win. So as you see in the beginning of the video, they were 16 and six, I believe, and I think the second team in the West, um, as of well right then was the Nuggets. I think they was 18 and three, something like that. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. But um, yeah, this season has been a a blast. You know getting into these close games and pulling out the wins um this game i wasn't sticking my williams so i didn't think of like you know to go back and forth you know because me and my williams was we was going back and forth but i'm not sticking him so i don't think consider that as going back and forth but he i swear i think mo williams missed his first shot in the third or the fourth quarter yo he was lights out i was like what I don't know who was sticking him, Jeremy Lin or James Harden, but they just kept letting him be open, and he was knocking shit down. It was just unreal to me, like crazy. Going into halftime with a nine-point lead, I'm not mad at all, you know? Shit, pretty much better than what we was doing the first time we played him, getting out of there with a one-point win. Oh, yeah, um, shout-out to my boy G Nation, number one, number one donker. <laughs> Shout out to G Nation and shit. He's part of my little team I'm trying to put together. Um, I currently don't have a name yet, but I'm trying to start a new movement, new everything. Um, yeah, so, yeah, shout out to G Nation for a lot of things. Um, for the, thanks for the support, my nigga. Thanks for the um, the beat that y'all hear rocking in my background. You know what I'm saying? a couple. I got a couple new beats from him, so I will be you know uh featuring his beats um if you don't know g nation check his channel out got some dope edits some cool ass commentaries shit like that so once he got the ball i'm like yo pass it pass it pass it like i'm tapping x like come on i'm trying to get out on a break 26 points eight rebounds seven assists i'm going for another triple double yet again this this season i should say i don't know if y'all peeped that little shake and bake move damn get dunked on homie don't try to stop that. Mm -mm. No, don't try it. And you seen that, right? Dunking on niggas without finisher. Cut it the fuck out. Don't need no finisher, player. Uh, don't ask me what signature skills I use because it's in the top left-hand corner of every one of my videos. I just sometimes decide to let you guys know what it is just in case you don't know. But the links or the little icons are right in the left-hand corner. I'll bring them up every video for you guys to see that shit. But that was a nice-ass dunk, man. After I got that block slash rebound or whatever they want to call it, and I passed um, Tony Douglas the ball, I was gonna, I was thinking about just coming down, just draining the three and shit like I normally do. But I ended up dunking on some kid. I feel bad for him, you know. He just was in the, uh, the wrong place at the wrong time because I just was not stopping at all. So this season, like I was telling you guys, I'm going to be in the paint a whole lot. I still shoot threes, but I've been working on my post moves. I've been posting everybody up this season like crazy. And I just been, I, I, like I said, I was going to use post proficiency, but I like hustle points so bad, so much. I'm not even going to use it. So, excuse me. I'm going to just end up 
leaving hustle points on, like these four, these five signature skills aren't gonna even be switched ever again, probably. For real, for real. And that's no joking, yeah. I love them so much. I think I just might just keep it like this. I, I was thinking about using um, posterizer because um, of the contact dunks versus the contact layups. I was thinking about that. That might um, be helpful or um, highlight film, but I think posterizer might be a little bit better than highlight film because highlight film just says um, a player that's looking to perform spectacular dunks all the time. And then uh, posterizer is a player known for dunking on defenders. So, you know, I'm known for dunking on people like crazy. 30 seconds to go. We up by eight. I got 37 points, 10 rebounds, nine assists. Ugh, grab another rebound. That's 11 rebounds. All I need is one more assist for a triple double. Yo, these kids been missing shots left and right and within the last minute of the game. For real, for real. They've been missing like crazy. I couldn't show y'all guys though everything because that shit would have been a long, a longer video than it is right now. You know what I'm saying? But they just kept missing. Like, you see, I don't know how he missed that layup. Like, come on, you're right there. Just dunk the ball. Help me get the triple dub, man. Like, don't don't be stupid. Like, for real. Well, this game is over. This video is almost coming to a wrap. I get the player of the game. A little bummer, you know, I didn't get the triple dub. Man, that would have been another one added to my fucking career total. But, nope. James Harden want to miss shots or pass shots up. Ashik want to miss shots, miss layups. Patterson missing jump shots. Jerry Lynn not trying to shoot the ball. And all I need is one assist. Like, let me know. But anyways, let's jump into this press conference and see what they talking about today. Congrats on getting a win in a really close game. How much does a game like that change the way you play in the closing moments, knowing that the outcome is hanging in the balance? Thanks, man. Shit, I'm happy as hell that we won this game. Um, When the game is close like that, I just look to turn it up. You know what I'm saying? To score more. To make the the right calls, the right plays, set the right screens, do all the right things, and we get the win.